I wanted to share with you all a little bit of a tip with our Travel Buddy Oven Meals that we have used time and time again, and I absolutely love it. The, especially the time that I particularly love to use these sort of meals is um, four years ago, we did a big outback trip and crossed through the Simpson Desert and it was all tent camping the entire way, no vans or anything like that um, to have our little luxuries. So, um, and there was the three of us that were traveling and um, all we had was basically most of our meals for the um, two weeks um, that we were away. Um, and um, uh, so what I needed to try and figure out was a really quick and simple way to be able to get our meals ready for us by the time we'd had a big long day of travel, um, getting to our destination, having to set up our tents and things like that. The last thing that I wanted to be doing was having to get out cooking uh, cookware and having to cook meals as well. So um, I had a lot of thought and preparation into that particular trip and what I did was I worked out a whole lot of meals that I could actually put in um, and vac seal. Uh, so I pre-cooked everything um, that I was taking on that trip and um, I vac sealed each meal um, in, and made it so that it was nice and thin so that I actually got a heap of meals into our 50 litre fridge. So if you've got a bigger fridge, you're, at, you're gonna get um, even more um, space in it. And at that stage, we were traveling with it as a fridge, not a freezer because we had other things that we wanted to eat along the way and not have them frozen. So because they were vac sealed, um, originally they I had frozen them and cooked them, frozen them, vac sealed them, um, and then they were safe to keep in the fridge for the entire trip uh, without worries of getting sick or anything like that. So the type of meals that I did for that sort of trip were things like um, spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti carbonara. I did a lot of varying um, rice dishes as well, like maybe chicken and rice, um, fried rice, um, uh, uh, curried sausages with rice. You could have done um, meals with potatoes. We also had um, lamb shanks one time and mashed potatoes um, and they were individually in each tray and warmed up. So there was like lots of variety. They weren't all mushy and pasta and high carbs and things like that. So you just got to think a little bit outside the box. There's heaps and heaps of different recipes for um, these sort of, of things. So just have a bit of a think of what you may be able to pre-cook ahead. So um, I wanted to bring one of these meals along with us. I haven't had to actually freeze and vac seal it because I've had plenty of freezer space and things like that for this particular trip. Um, and a lot of the stuff I am actually cooking as I get to destinations because we've got the van, we've got the space, we've got the luxury of being able to do that. Um, so for this one, um, I pre-cooked just some spaghetti bolognese with some pasta, enough for the three of us. Um, so what I'm going to do, I do tend to find, yes, look, it's quick and easy to be able to throw it into a pot when you get to the other side. But I do tend to find things like that tend to stick in your pots and then it becomes really messy and difficult to try and clean up. Again, I don't want to be getting to a campground after a long day's drive and having to pull out pots all the time. Sometimes I like to be able to just pull up, take what I've got out of the oven, serve it up and it's ready to be eaten. Um, so these are why I absolutely love these type of meals. Um, on our Simpson trip as well, we were the only ones that were pulling up and didn't have to prepare any of our food when everybody else was. We could just pull up, set up our camp, sit back and be eating while everyone else had only just finished setting up and then was having to pull out everything to cook. So hugely um, um, just massive time saver doing this so again i've got my trusty glad bags um uh, glad bags Gla uh, glad oven bags that um just from the supermarket um and i've got my pre-cooked already like i said spag bowl so all i really want to do is heat this obviously i don't need to cook it but because it is thick and it's large it does take a lot longer than what you expect to pre-warm it. We also had the small travel buddy oven when we were doing it and crossing the Simpson, which I think is already just like a one setting at 180. Um, these uh, large marine ovens that we have, you can select your temperatures. So I'm gonna pop it on 200. I've only just started warming it, so it's not gonna be super warm um, going in. And I will set this in the oven for an hour and a half 
and what's important to note too is just remember that halfway through flip it um, as well because otherwise you do tend to end up burning on the bottom of um, the um, the bag and so you get stuff that's a bit crusty whereas if you remember to flip it and give it a little bit of a, a mix through while it's in the bag while it's warming what's going to happen is that by the time you get to your destination like I said you're just going to pull up open up your um, oven pull out your bowls and bang you're done so I'm going to pop it in excuse the uh, bag rustling noise as I do it And that's it now I have said before another big tip and trick to remember when you're doing these is let the air out of the bag squeeze it out as much as you can and then leave it loose really loose at the top because these bags will expand while they're in the oven and warming and if you don't do that they can pop and make a big mess so just make sure that it's nice and loose when you're tying it off at the top giving it plenty of room for expansion. Also then um, you'll find when you're stopping to actually flip it and give it a bit of a mix through, it's really easy just to do a little bit of that. And it's just gonna make sure that everything's nice and warm all the way through your meal. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then by the time we're finished at our campground um, and having a few drinks around the fire, we'll just be able to pull this out. I don't have to worry about cooking. So I will show you what it looks like at the end, but pretty much this nice and steamy and ready to eat. Hope it helps. My bag bowl has now been cooking for about an hour and a half. I did uh, attend to it about halfway through, like I said, and give it a flip over to make sure that it wasn't actually burning on the bottom. And it's really nice and warm now, perfectly cooked through. So you can have a look and see what it looks like. nice and steamy hot oh wow that is hot but as you can see I haven't lost any of the integrity of the actual spaghetti it's nice and soft all the way through, it's even fogging up the lens. And delicious. Look, I don't even have to waste utensils trying to dish it out this way. Just pop it straight out of the bag. On into the bowl. Wow, that's hot for sure. Like I said, I love that I haven't lost any of the integrity of the actual dish itself. There's even so much there. There's enough for leftovers for Chelsea. Yes, someone's happy about that. So then I'll just pop that out of the way. Again, sorry about the noise little bit of uh, fresh parmesan over the top. Not in really. And if you like to be a little bit extra naughty like me, a little cracker salt. And there you have it. That is my spaghetti bolognese all cooked, ready, and waiting to be devoured. Enjoy.